Hello and welcome to Esoteric Discussions with me, your host, Valentine St. Alban. A show where we go deep down into the rabbit hole. You can catch me every other Wednesday evening from 9 here on Peterborough FM and online. If you want to learn more about me, please visit my website at www.valentinesaintalban.co.uk. You can also listen to the archives of the show on my website as well. So, it's the 17th of August, 2011. How have you been coping with Mercury Retrograde? Have you been experiencing delays? Technical difficulties? Uh, The planet Mercury, who is the planet of communication and travel, has been in retrograde motion, which is a fancy way of saying um, he has been moving backwards. Although the planets don't actually move backwards, it just looks like that. It just looks like that from our point of view. When Mercury is in retrograde, um, we often have delays with anything we are trying to do. Things in general have a hard time taking off, and there's often a lot of confusion in the air. So um, things should be back to normal by the end of the month. And if you uh, have been having difficulties, no, they are coming to an end soon, and um, hopefully life will be making a bit more sense by the end of the month. So, we've had, a, we've had a full moon this weekend, and you could literally see and feel the energy building as the riots began to kick off last week. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot to be said about the riots that took place across England last week. Um, I personally found there was a lot of strange activity and I have to say that um, that uh, you know there w- there were reports of police standing by and doing nothing while shops were being looted. And actually, I I caught a, a clip when I was watching the news. I caught a clip of um, a camera crew on Sky TV as they showed a large, well-known supermarket, which I won't say the name, um, literally being raided um, and, and looted. And the the police were standing behind them. There were a group of police standing behind them, and they did nothing. And even I noticed the 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 journalist of the um, of the show. He was saying, you know, um, all this is going on, and he found it quite strange that the police weren't doing anything. So yes, lots of um, bizarre activities last week, and. Um, I personally was just annoyed by the statements coming out of the mouths of our elected MPs claiming that these riots were just mindless raids used as an excuse to steal and thieve. And um, I noticed any time an argument was put forward uh, that didn't um, push the point uh, of, of view forward that the you know the media wanted to, to push forward, um, the person would literally just be stopped in mid-sentence or the interview would just end. So... Um, you know, I, I, I personally found um, um, all of it quite, quite concerning. And the, the fact was, was while all of these riots were going on, the, um, the economic markets were collapsing worldwide. You know, we had the FTSE that, that uh, was down and uh, the Dow and the Asian markets, they all basically collapsed. And, um, of course, it was the worst collapse since the big crash of 08. Uh, so, um, and, you know, obviously we had been warned that another crash was coming soon. Those of us in the know have been quite aware that um, the, the issues from that were highlighted in 2008 have not been resolved, and we were due for another crash, and it came. And while it came, um, instead of uh, the, the, the um, economic uh, conditions being put on the headlines, it was the riots. The riots just took over everything. Every moment they were talking about the riots, you turned on to any news broadcast and they were just constantly talking about the riots and very little being said about the um, financial situation. And of course, uh, you know, we had... Um, the rhetoric that we were hearing from, that we're now hearing from David Cameron and other MPs, um, saying that the riots, um, you know, were outrageous and they have all these ideas for these draconian type laws that they want to bring in. We're talking about curfews across the UK, private messaging services that are no longer private, benefits being taken away from those who took part in the riots, 
harsher sentences for children who were caught stealing things like a bottle of wine or sweets or a few clothes, plastic bullets being allowed to be used, water cannons. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. So, um, you know, obviously many people have been warning us about this police state that is is basically here. There's no doubt about it. It is here. Um, And, well, if you can't see it, then... um, I don't know what else to say because it's it's very blatant and obvious now. So, you know, we're, we're in some very, very interesting times. And, um, you know, emo- emotions are, are very high. People are just in general, I've noticed, are just very stressed out. Everybody ready to jump on one another. And, um, you know, it's... It, it's It's a very difficult time when there's not a lot of money around, when people are pushed and pushed to their limit. Um, You know, it can cause all sorts of problems, and those problems have been reaching a boiling point, and and that's what we witnessed last week. Um, You know, and over the next few years, things are just going to get more and more intense. Um, But, you know, I'll be talking more about the UK riots in upcoming shows. Um, I could talk and talk about this subject right now, but um, I have another show planned for tonight, so um, uh, we'll have to put that on the back burner for another for another show. But we will definitely be addressing um, the UK riots. We'll be looking at all of the issues, so, um, you know, stay tuned for that. So... Um, So tonight, I am going to be talking about the astrology of 2012 with uh, astrologer Helen Sewell. And um, I'm really excited about having her on the show as she has some really great insights to offer. And we're going to be talking about the alignments that are happening and those to come that is bringing this great change that... um, I've been talking about in past shows and that you, you know, if you follow any of this kind of stuff that you're hearing, um, you know, this planet is going through a great transition and we're seeing it. It's happening right in front of our eyes. Uh, You know, the show has begun and that is for sure. Um, You know, and and when the riots were going on last week, I just want to add this one point. When the riots were going on last week, um, there were protests and riots going on in Chile. I believe it was Chile. Um, The students were protesting about the high tuition fees, and um, there were protests in India. There were riots in Philadelphia. And, um, you know, we have obviously been seeing um, uprisings and people trying to stand up for their rights Um, in the Middle East. So, you know, there is a mood of of, um, revolution in the air. And um, that's one of the things that we'll be looking at tonight. We'll be looking at these alignments and what sort of kicking all of this off, because it's not just something happening here in the UK. It's happening everywhere. People have had enough and they want change, you know. And um, we have to understand what's going on going on in the stars and what's going on on ab- above us because it's always replicated below us so it's going to be a great show and um and we'll also be looking at um hopefully if we have the time um some of these alignments that that are going on right now and and what 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 it means for us for the future so before i bring helen on to the show um i want to tell you about an event that i'm hosting in october It's taking place in Peterborough, England. So for those of you that live in the UK, it's something based here in in, in the UK. Um, uh, It's called Future Talk 2012 and Beyond. And my guest speakers will be Anne Ella and Alex G. Alex G is the host of the show On The Edge, which airs live on Thursdays at 8 p.m. on Controversial TV Channel 200. That's Sky Channel 200. Um, And I have been told that um, you can actually get controversial TV on Freesat, which is a free satellite um, channel, well, you know, system. So it's an alternative to to Sky Television, which is a paid subscription. And it is available across across Europe. Um, So it's going to be a great event, and I'm very excited about it. And if you're interested, visit my website at valentinesaintalban.co.uk. It has its own special page, which is called Future Talk. And um, I think it's going to be a really good event. So if you can make it, please do. So we're going to take a quick break. And when I return, I will be joined by Helen Sewell. 
so stay tuned. Right, so we're back here with me, your your host, Valentine St. Alban. You're listening to Esoteric Discussions. We are live. It's Wednesday evening on the 17th of August. Um, and that was uh, one DMC, an old, a very old track called It's Like That, um, and it's, that's the way it is. Um, I think it's quite uh, relative to the times we're in right now. So we're going to start the show, and I have Helen Sewell on the line, and... Um, She'll be joining us in just a second. So um, let me just give you an introduction. Um, Helen is a professional astrologer, and she studied at the Center for Psychological and... Let me try again. Helen studied at the Center for Psychological Astrology with the renowned astrologer Liz Green. She writes for astrological journals and websites and gives lectures